Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we have edited and we have created different functions in our, our edit profile. Now go and continue this process by adding different functions inside our Firebase. So go inside Firebase. So now create all of the functions that are left behind inside Firebase. First, we will create password update password and this password is a new password that is coming inside this as an argument this dot or dot current user dot update password and give it new password if you're having any issue inside our firebase functions then firebase has written a very amazing document you can go and read that document in which every function is uh, written there with full descriptions that how you can perform crud operations how you can perform image uploads video uploads and messaging system as well in real time so go in here and create another function change password and create with current password and give it new password okay we will return new promise resolve and reject this is an asynchronous function after updating it will return a promise so we want to our customer to re-authenticate okay so after getting a new password so we will re-authenticate and this is a new function so create this function is here re-authenticate and give it current password okay with current password we can change our new password okay. so give it cons user this dot all dot current user and oops cons credential app dot auth dot email auth provider dot credential user dot email dot and we'll give it current password okay and again in here this firebase this authentication is providing this functionality Okay, Firebase app with app we are calling the function. Okay, here it does it. Okay, calling the function auth and we have an email auth provider with credential, user email, and current password. So now we have user email and a current password. Then return user re-authenticate with credential and pass cred okay let's get back to here and again our current password is coming from this we give it current password this dot re-authenticate and give current password and then Right cost user this dot off dot current user user dot update password new password dot then give another 
error function oops okay. so this update password is the billing function and give new password and then resolve password updated successfully okay so we have to catch error as well give it reject error it's a console dot log okay and again to the previous give again error so in re-authenticating we are also checking error and inside or updating password we are also checking error okay completed so now we have to update email copy this function quite related to this change password okay paste it in here First, we need our new email, and these two lines will remain same. And again, we'll check our auth current password and give it new password with giving it update email and give it new email. Okay, in user dot update email, we will give data. This is an argument we will check in here and email. So, if you do not want to write in here, then no problem. So, resolve email update password, catch error. Okay, that's it. Okay, now go just below re authenticate or just above in here, create a new function update profile and give ID and updates and give this dot db dot collection with users and we'll give it with doc Give ID of this document that is currently being changed update and give it updates okay simple function we are passing the ID that should be changed go to cloud firestore so every document has an ID this is the ID of this document and this is the ID of this document so we will give the ID that this document should be changed and we will give the updates that is the fields of this document. So we will check on auth state changed function as well. We will write on auth state changed again arrow function we will return new promise and we will resolve and reject and this will take an error function this dot auth on auth state changed give user as an argument if user then return resolve user else path return reject new error and give all state changed field give send column last the last function which is the last but not least this is good or set or 
persistence or okay so we need to check our local storage of our browser as well okay so we'll check it with this dot and we have talked about our persistence so far in this project as well if you are following this project then everything should be okay to you app dot auth dot auth dot persistence dot local okay that's it our firebase has been completed now let's have a quick break and then in the next video we will be talking about our sign up page